Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video it's going to be an exciting little video. So Pili, Pili, Louise have just launched a brand new palette. And when I tell you it's probably the most gorgeous palette I've ever seen. I absolutely love my Ithacrown fits. Adore it. Like that, definitely my favourite palette. But when I test this, if I love it, it might take a toll. Because not only is it slim lined and not four inches thick, it's got every single nude shade you would want every single nude shade it goes from the lightest tones which is great for like pale skin to the deepest and richest shades like pillow you have me in a choke cold your eyeshadow palette will consistently make me pay way too much money for them i will do it i don't care the quality is freaking amazing so if you don't already have p lewis palettes where have you been especially the recent ones but like look how dark this palette goes like this is hella impressive like this is inclusivity at its finest and i am here for it it has a black it has a white the shimmer shades in this as well there's two different iridescent shimmer shades and mm, i need those on my lids like asap so before we carry on please do like and subscribe as always and yeah leave a comment down below tell me your opinion on p louise palettes if you have them tell me if you have how many you have because i think i have too many at this point to be honest too many eyeshadow palettes um p louise eyeshadow palettes is never going to be the issue but this is the wedding wish xl palette so do you know all their little like wedding wish palettes yeah this is kind of like an enhanced on steroids type of palette so we're gonna test it and i absolutely love the slim line effect i love you p louise for the excessive packaging but when i'm going on holiday my package says no, it really does. So this is a lot handier and I know I'll be taking this with me if it works as well as it bloody looks because, oh, I look at it and it's just a straight ass orgasm in a pet palette. It is, it is. And the like names of these are beautiful. Like you've got yours truly, intimacy, milestone, charming, tantalizing. Yeah, we'll do that. Infinity, Inspirable, Bond. I will swatch the entire palette at the end of the video, but I'm not going to do it now because I know you guys don't want to sit there watching it. So if you do want to watch this, um, all the swatching, obviously, watch to the end, watch the eye look, and then I'll swatch the entire thing. Okay, because that is a lot of shades. I'm pretty sure there's like 40 or 50 shades. I'm not even sure how many are in here. When I brought it, I just brought it. I was like, fuck it, I'm getting it. I saw how many shades, I was like, Whoop. I need that so yeah it doesn't actually say how many shades it would probably be quicker for me to sit here counting there are 50 shades 50 this is their largest palette 50 shades go you anyways but anyway stop rambling let's get into the eyeshadow tutorial also if you want to become a patron choose what eye looks i do link down below as always it's between one to ten pound a month you pick which one and we just roll with it you get into the group chat and today we're doing an eye look picked by claire beck she said, hello, why? I said, okay, why not? Let's do it. So, yeah. First, we need to prime the eyelids. You guys know XX Revolution Concealer the entire way. It is half ten at night. And I'm filming this because this is when I got my energy. <laughs> we love it. Okay, a little bit of that. You don't need too much, trust me. But putting too much concealer on your lids, you're going to be causing greasing. And you don't want that. Now I've got to sit here and try and find the brush that I blend it out with. We have found it. So I just use like a big dense brush and I literally just tap, 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 tap. I have just done like natural-ish brows. Natural, <laughs> far from it. But I've done these brows because I simply cannot be bothered to stick my eyebrows to my forehead for the matter of two hours for me to get in the bath and then fall off. So these brows it is today. And if you want a tutorial, it's on my TikTok. So if you don't already follow me on there, it's becca.scale. I do post over there on the regular. I just really like the platform. I do TikTok shop and everything. So why the fetch not follow me? Look at me trying not to swear like I don't swear every five seconds of a video. Okay, this is the shade 4.5. It's my darker shade. Um, and I think it matches me pretty well. So yeah. Um, we're going to do one eye on camera as always and one eye off, but the one eye off, I'm just going to do a TikTok tutorial. So then both TikTok and YouTube have the content because this palette didn't cost me 40 quid for me not to get the most content out of it possible. Did I think this palette was going to be like 50 quid? Yeah, 40 quid, not too bad. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get some eyeshadows. Mira, move out the way. You're interrupting. Eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow brush. What do I need? I haven't done eyeshadow in so long that I've actually forgotten how to do it. I know, great fun. 
Um, I know for a halo eye, I start off with a pretty small brush. So I'm gonna start off with this brush from By Junk I'm pretty sure. Yep. And I think, do we go like a dark halo eye? Do we give misty vibes? Do we do it? Mm, this shade Veal, oh, looks phenomenal. So I'm actually gonna go into that. I love the imprint of like little hearts. Look how dark that is. And that's not even the darkest. That's in the third darkest. Are those green? They're like a greeny nudes. We love. It's like a, that one, sweetheart, it's like a proper mist. Like, I don't know if you can see what I can see. It's like a forest green. Like, do you know that really dark forest green? Yeah, that one. Let's zoom you in. Uh, so now you can see all my spots. It's fine, it's okay. I am literally just gonna stamp this eyeshadow on the outer portion of my eye. I haven't even picked up that much pigment on the brush. <laughs> and look at that. So I'm just gonna plop this here. It has been so long since I've done a halo eyeshadow that genuinely I feel like I've forgotten. It's been so long since I've done any sort of decent eyeshadow. I will be back doing it, don't you worry. This is the, this is just a teaser. And then a little bit in the front. I try and just get a little bit and add because you can <laughs> add way too much but can't take it away. But building it up, that's what you need. So I'm just bringing that up to my crease and just wiggling it just above. So then you can see it. I do have to say, the shade's gone on like a slight purpley, even though it definitely looks like a true chocolate brown. It's going on the eye completely different. Like, that's the shade. Does that look different to you? Am I just being blind? Probably being blind at this point. I did lose my glasses. <laughs> it's fine. So, literally just pop that shade on. Phenomenal as per usual. Genuinely, am I shocked that there's this much pigment already? No, it's P. Louise. It's extortionate pigment. Like, oh, that is, oh. I love it. I do, I do. Okay, next, I'm actually keeping the brushes to the side so I know what brushes I actually used. So next I'm gonna use this brush, it's from By Jungle as well. Also, By Jungle is a small Instagram brand that if you haven't tried out their brushes, you need to because it's affordable and their brushes are phenomenal. Like their eyeshadow brushes, I consistently pick up. Like over all my other ones, I've got Morphe, I've got Jessup, I've got freaking Cash Beauty, I've got, what other stuff have we got on here? We've got Makeup Cat, we've got BH Cosmetics, we've got Beauty Bay, and I pick up By Jungle by far the most so next next we need a deeper shade so i think i'm actually a lighter shade i think i'm gonna go into this shade romance and use that shade to blend it out watch me forget which shade i'm actually gone into and then start going into different shades my eyes look completely different it's fine and i'm literally going to use this brush and tap around the edge because i just want to initially start the blend so just tapping allows the pigment to stick where the eyeshadow the concealer is still tacky. And then once it's on there and I'm happy with the placement, am I gonna start buffing that out a bit more and like circular motions to really make sure that that is blended. But of course, P. Louise eyeshadows are blending out themselves. At this point, whenever P. Louise drop a palette, I just, my bank account screams, I scream, and together we all scream. <laughs> it's great. Do you know what, that blended effortlessly look at that okay same shade on the inside so just tapping it onto the edge no wiggling just tap 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 doesn't matter if it goes over the other shade when you like use circular motions it will dust it off because obviously the other shade stuck to the concealer and then get your wiggle wiggle going on really raise those eyebrows create those forehead lines yep act shocked and blend those two together just like that phenomenal behavior phenomenal okay next we've got another Oh no, we have a Bay Beauty brush, but that's not the brush I want to use. Okay, we have a Jessup brush this time. This is kind of like a small dense brush. You kind of want one of these. So for a lighter shade, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Pledged, which is this shade here. Did I put way too much of that on? Yeah. And once again, tapping onto the edges and that's gonna blend out for you. I'm actually gonna use this shade to wing out the eyeshadow as well, because I don't want to wing out the darkness, but that lighter shade, as soon as you start like winging it out and stuff it just looks really pretty so i'm just gonna bring that out a little bit just there and then using your brush just to wiggle it in between that and the previous shade and really just perfect that it's literally taking me seconds to do this eyeshadow <sighs> this proves okay i have not done a halo eye in probably like it's gonna sound disgusting but like 10 months that's disgusting um and this is literally just forming look at that phenomenal behavior phenomenal <laughs> Darker Misty Becker is back and she's here to stay. Mm. I'm actually loving this. Like, I can't. P. Louise, what have you done to me? And I think the last shade that I'm going to go into, mm, I'm going to actually mix the shade Endearment and Rock just because I want this colour. Oh, 
that colour, but a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to mix it a little bit because obviously I'm a bit pale. I'm actually not. My body's really tan, but the camera is just not picking it up. Is it going to pick up? See, my face and my body are two different colours. Look at this. Disgusting. And then I'm going to use this brush. Without tapping it on, I'm literally just going to use this to dust over the edge. Like, literally just set that concealer and bring it winged out and make sure everything is blended together. Blend it over those huge ass spots that were on my hairline. But I'm going to now go into those shades, perfect them in fast zoom. So I'm going to zoom you out a little bit because you're a little bit too close. Personal space. Um, in fast zoom, just go through the shades again, just to really make them pigmented and stuff. Because obviously, going from lighter darker, some of the light, uh, darker to lighter, some of the lighter shades gonna make the darker shades lighter as well. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I have now finished in-depthing those eyeshadows. It literally took me seconds. Like, look at the depth we're getting. There is no patchiness, okay? The shades have blended phenomenally, and the pigmentation that is on my eye, the smoothness of these eyeshadows, top-notch quality. If you don't already have this palette, you bloody well need it, okay? This probably will be my wedding palette. I'm not joking. Today, a bride, tomorrow, a wife, the biggest adventure you'll take on life. Read the quote on the inside. That's so fucking cute. I'll mm. probably never be someone's wife at this point. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, good idea. I'm gonna use that fluffy brush and the shade Rock, the one that I mixed the last shade with, the like really pale one. And I'm just gonna pop it here just to set the concealer. So my glitter glue has like a matte base to stick to because otherwise it'll mix with concealer and it won't just do what I want it to. But glitter glue is the Rouge Cosmetics one and I'm gonna use this brush from By Jungle which is their M4. It's a nice thick one as well. It's not skinny on the br like bristles. Like they really fitted those in which is good. And I love this Rouge Cosmetics glitter glue. It holds on to anything onto my eye. It is phenomenal. I love it. You just need the smallest amount as well. Tap it on there exactly where you want it. Tap around the edges. It's not going to disturb your eyeshadow underneath either, which is amazing. Give it a few seconds and this stuff's going to grip like glue. There's this beautiful shade here called Love. Phenomenal. So we have that one, which looks really pretty. We have Workship. Oh, that one's soft. That one's very soft. Very um intimacy is this one of the iridescent shades i was talking about with you it kind of hints green if you get me i uh, just wipe it on myself it's fine um then we have promise kind of silver like a silvery gold just look at the pigmentation okay inseparable looks like a really nice shade oh yeah that's pretty that's very pretty tantalizing some of these feel creamier than the others but the pigmentation look at that no, 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 that's, that, that's a sin. It's a sin to be ma making shimmers this good. Infinity, where should I put it? Nice true gold to those dark skinned girls would look stunning. Oh my God, I don't know which one to do. Promise, looks like a really nice shade. Oh, and White Dove, look at this. It's like an iridescent shade, but it's white. It's confusing. It's like a white gold, but these are some of the shimmers. Now I just need to look at it and figure out which one I want, even though I don't remember which one's what. It's fine. Do you know what I'm thinking? A bit of Inseparable First, which is this one, um, with a bit of love in the center. Okay, let's do that. I'm actually gonna put it on with a brush to show you that even with a brush or finger, these shades are phenomenal. Ah, flying brushes. Okay, Inseparable. Gonna use that same brush that I used for the glitter glue. This brush, by the way, really like, it looks like, it feels like a finger on your eye because how packed it is. Look at that. I love how Claire said wedding look. Anyone's rolling up um, with a black eye on wedding, I rate you. I rate you so much. And I'm gonna use this brush to tap it out. But like, see how that glitter glue really held onto that? Like that shadow is not bloody moving for the life of me. Oh yeah, this shade is perfect for this look. Perfection. I'm really tapping that in as well. So that's not gonna move at all. Like, that looks stunning. Do you know what? We'll put that one there and we'll use the lighter shade Love. So let me get some glitter glue. Cause that looks like plenty for my inner, my lid. And so then they can have separate moments. I'm gonna put Love on the inner corner. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of 
thing there and a tiny bit of thing there on my eyebrow bone tap that in because it's a lighter shade it's going to help highlight always use a glitter glow the rude cosmetics i recommend every second of the day but now the shade love like i'm scared to put so much on because it's literally just gonna be pigment look at that space alien anyone um i'd love to shine this much at all days all time of the day and then what i do is connect it onto like my halo really push it in there blend it a bit really bringing it up onto that brow wow look at those pigments i'm genuinely in love with this in love now i'm just gonna try and blend that out that looks stunning i kind of want a darker shade in there we have the shade kiss the bride which looks like a good shade that could blend the mid one out like it looks like that i'm literally covered in eyeshadow this is what happens whenever i do an eyeshadow tutorial i wonder why all my clothes are stained all glittery okay i'm gonna use a little bit of kiss the bride mm, that was a lot Fudging hell, Becca. I'm just going to put that on this side. Oh, yeah. That really changed the game, huh? Definitely. Absolutely. That's what we needed. Let's give you a zoom in. Look at this. I need to turn this bright down. I don't know why it's so bright. But, like, look at those shimmers. That is yummy as fuck. Yeah, look at that eye look. Mm, I love it. So, what I'm going to go do, I'm going to go put a wing liner on, some lashes do the other eye on TikTok, come back with my face done and I'll do all the swatches and stuff. But so far, I'm fucking loving this palette and for 40 quid, I think it's bloody worth it. P. Louise palettes, I will pay the 65 pound, I'll pay 70 pound, I'll pay 80 pound. I won't pay 100, 100's a bit much. Don't do that. Um, but this is phenomenal. Like, look at those shimmers and the mattes. Like everything's blended together. Like even for the girls that want a simplistic look, you've got every single shade here to do that. But for the girls that literally want to look like they've been punched in the eye, yes, please. That's me, I'm queen of that club. I want that. So I'm gonna quickly go do the other eye and I'll be back to do all the swatches and absolutely drunk myself in swatches and then go get the bath because I will be covered from head to toe. So yeah, I'll be back. Bye. Okay, people, I am back. Um, my face doesn't match the rest of my body. Well, of course it looks like it now. It didn't a minute ago, okay? It didn't match my face. My body didn't match. Okay, that's fine. But we're gonna do the bottom lash line. I done this cute little nude lip and I'm kind of obsessed with it, like we love. But let's get into putting the products that are on top of the palette. Off of it and on the table, apparently. Uh, on the floor. Um and do the bottom lash line. So let's do it. Let's zoom you in. But oh my god, I'm literally obsessed with these eyes. Look at this. Stunning. I absolutely love it. I did the liner and the lashes. I forgot that I didn't tell you, show you guys. But like these colours and my blue eyes like make my eyes pop differently. Stunning. Okay, um, where do I put the palette? Probably on your lap would be best, Becca. I'm going to use this little pencil brush and I think for my under lash line, I'm going to grab that romance shade, the darkest shade, and a little bit of it. Just a, just a tad bit. Um, and a mirror. Definitely needs cleaning. Um, and I'm just gonna dust this under first of all on the outer portion and make sure we're somewhat blending. It's been so long since I put eyeshadow on my under lash line that this is actually really tickling. I'm gonna look like a goldfish when I'm doing my under lash line. Do we think that that's enough for the lash line? Because I don't like things too dark on the bottom because that's when my eyes can look really small. Let's do the other side. I'm actually pretty liking that one shade on the bottom, but that side's definitely darker. So let me just add a little bit more on this side. I think that's pretty. That's what we're doing for that. Let me just pop a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash lip. Lash lashes. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. Yeah, I quite like that. Look how like smoky and beaut my eyes look. This is absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Okay. I already know that this palette is literally gonna be my new favourite because the shades just are absolutely amazing. Like I genuinely I can't believe how I can believe it's P it's P. Louise. Why are you lying, Becca? Um I just can't believe how affordable this one is as well. Like 40 quid is cheaper than what they usually charge for 50 shades, especially like and it, I like the slimline packaging. It's just like everything about this one 
makes sense absolutely like if you are building a like client kit as well this is a go-to palette i recommend you buying another one of these so one for me and one for my client kit to be using because it's literally got every shade and that way i don't need to pick up like two or three palettes that are missing what i want and just buy one and use it for everything how amazing so yeah that is that now let's get into the swatches for the people that watched this far and wanted to do the swatches. But yeah, if you wanna buy this, I am gonna leave the link to it on my TikTok shop. Um, so if you can buy it through there, I do get affiliate. So please do if you can, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna absolutely cover myself and I'm definitely gonna need wet wipes. The things you guys make me do, the things you guys make me do, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna be covered. Like when I go to the bath, I'm literally just gonna be covered in eyeshadow and that my water is literally gonna be brown. I'm going to be drenched in it. Wet wipe to the ready. So what I'm gonna do is actually go row by row. Like that row, wipe my arm, that row, wipe my arm. As, as you go down, we'll go. Um, and I'm not gonna name them because you're not gonna follow me on the names. And I'm literally just gonna end up making this 20 times longer because I can't fucking read for the life of me. Okay? So yeah, let's get into it. I, honestly, I wish YouTube would allow me music because I just listen to music as we go. Okay, first row. Let's see how good this white is. Oh wow. Oh, the jewelry's gonna have to move. Okay, that didn't swatch too well. Huh. Let me go into the next four shades. Okay, those are the first four shades. I love how I'll casually get darker as we go. Oh, that one basically is my skin tone. It really just said bad. <laughs> There's the next four. I don't know why I've got a wet wipe if I'm just gonna wipe it on my trousers that are white. Don't bloody ask at this point. And that, my darling, is the first row. So they've all kind of swatched, so I usually don't do like second swatches and stuff like that. They've all swatched a little bit, eh. But on the eyes, they are amazing and packed full. But this does also show that swatches don't mean shit or mean anything at this point because they are acting completely different on my like dry skin than they are on my eyes, as you can literally tell. Which is the reason why I'm now starting to do swatches afterwards because I can literally see how they're working on the eyes, which they're meant for, and on the arm, which they're obviously not meant for. Um, but this is for you guys that genuinely just want to see like, the colour story and see which ones are most pigmented. But yeah, the shimmers always swatch amazing. Next row, I'm going to have a sore arm. I'm really getting my fingers up in there. Look at that shade. <laughs> what the fuck? It's finding that with my arm a little bit wetter, it's gripping on better instead of gripping to my finger. Don't do that, okay? Now the last two shades of this row. Yeah, my arm being a little bit wetter is gripping those shadows a lot better than a really bone dry arm. Because obviously it's got nothing to stick to, but those are the shades. Do you see this shade that looks slightly green? It is green. It looks great to be honest, but that that shade there, <sighs> Peelery shimmer shades look phenomenal. Oh my lord, this is where we hit a bump in the road. Who needs fake tan or an exfoliator? I've got glitter everywhere. Um, uh, that's not coming off me at least five days, five working days, uh, which will be in two weeks. <laughs> okay, next one. Look at that. Yeah, the wet arm is working really well. Usually, I don't advise wetting your arm, but if a wet won't work, why not? <laughs> wow. These shimmers just like, oh, they have me in a chokehold. Okay, I've literally got glitter all over me. Now the last two shades. So that is the third row. They look absolutely stunning. Like all of these shades are just perfect nude shades. Like I am loving this. I'm gonna have such a sore arm. I can feel it. Like the irritation already. I bet, I hope this is worth it. I really do. Cause I'm going red. Can you see the rash that's forming? What I do for my job. Yeah, I've started to get pretty sensitive. So I have pretty sensitive skin. So me doing this, is probably gonna give me like a rash or something, but it's fine. Next is the shade Fondness. Okay, four shades. Do you know when you just remember you're not actually saying the shades? Yeah, me. Oh. oh. Look at those peachy colours. They look stunning. Oh, this infinity shade is absolutely to die for. We're getting to some really deep colours, which I love. Like to think that the deepest shade on my there on my eye is nowhere near the deepest shade on this eyeshadow palette is insane. Last two shades. 
And that is the fourth row. Absolutely stunning. I genuinely think swatches, like just being able to see it on your arm um, looks really nice. And like just being able to see how different eyeshadows are performing. Like one shadow feels different to the next. Like some of the shimmers feel a little bit harder than the others and stuff like that. Like just having a feel around just seems good. That's not even coming off. I'm going out tomorrow, and if I've still got this, I'm going to look like I've got the worst rash of life. It's not coming off. Oh. Showing you that it's very pigmented. It's fine, we'll do the next row here, because you clearly can't do it there. Let's prep the other side of my arm so I look like I've got a full arm rash. Next is this iridescent white shade. It's stunning. The next shades are kind of like pinkly, pinkly, pinky purpley. Someone once commented on my video, do you need to swear that much? No, I don't. Um, it just happens. And if I edit out every single swear word I say, um, I'd be editing for the rest of my life and you wouldn't make any sense. And also, I don't allow under 18 year olds watching my videos. So that's how we prevent that. So those are the first four shades. They actually look really pretty. Like they're very pretty shades. Next ones have ruined this palette with my swatches. Ruined it. Oh, those four shades are stunning. Now the last, and final two shades, which includes a very dark purple and a black. Let's see how well the black performs. So that's the very dark purple that basically looks black. And the black looks green. What? That looks green. I'm not being blind, it looks green. Maybe I need another. Build it up, Becca. No, it's definitely looking green. I'm confused. Maybe it'll look black on the eye. Maybe it's looking green because it's next to a really dark purple. And obviously the undertones are very different. Maybe it's that. But yeah, this is the last row of eyeshadows. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me swatching that. Um, I actually don't mind swatching, um, swatching palettes. But I hate the mess it creates. Like, I'm covered in eyeshadow. And then I end up with staining. So... I literally have to give myself an exfoliating scrub to get this off. This one's still not coming off, look. So yeah, that is the eyeshadow palette for you. So do I think it's worth the £40? Absolutely. It is a sick eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with it. Have I ruined it with my swatches? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be using this to death in more videos on TikTok and here. So don't worry, this isn't the last time you're going to see this palette, nor me. Okay? I'm back. And yeah, I absolutely love that palette. And if you do want to buy it, obviously, buy it from my TikTok. Um, it really does help out, obviously, because then I can buy more shit like this and give you more reviews. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, go watch some more of my face if you really, and really want to. Um, because I personally think I'm somewhat entertaining, I think. Maybe I'm just clowning myself at this point. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.